My name is Riley. I am eight years old, and some of my favorite things to do are to do gymnastics, ballet, and tap, and to play with my brother and sister. So I learned about Jesus from my mom and dad who read me the Bible almost every day, and they, and they teach me about Jesus every day. And Mr. Lee taught me about what it means to get baptized. And Mr. and Mrs. Dixon are our Sunday school teachers. And they taught me what it means to get baptized and what it means to be a Christian. And they have these fun little activities where they teach you about what it means to become a Christian. Well, I realized that I've been doing bad choices sometimes and I wanted Jesus to forgive me for my sins. I am praying more. And sometimes I read the Bible whenever my dad reads the Bible. I tell my sister about Jesus, and she is thinking about getting baptized too. What a blessing it is to be able to stand here and to hear the testimony of one that's got so many years ahead of her to share about her love for Jesus and that she is following Jesus as the Lord and Savior of her life. The, the tank I stand in has water. It's just like the water at your, your home. has no saving ability whatsoever. But this water allows us to demonstrate a picture, a picture of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And death to ourselves as he's given us a brand new life. You pray for Riley this morning. Riley, it took us three times, but we heard your testimony this morning, so we were excited about that. Do you have family here today? Can you see them out there? They're right down there. Okay. All right. You got your own cheering section there. All right, Riley, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. And is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Okay. All right. Wonderful. Well, based upon your testimony your story that God has come into your life and saved you. And in obedience to his command that we want to follow him, to obey him in baptism, it's my honor and my privilege to baptize you as my little sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. you were here to witness that if that's never happened to you if you've never followed the Lord in baptism you need to ask the question why why not maybe you've never received Jesus as your Savior and you can have that that happen today before you leave here I want to say thank you for coming to First Baptist we're delighted that you're here this morning that you got a chance to be part of the baptism service and the worship that's going to follow if you're a guest with us today, we especially want to say thank you for coming to First Baptist. Uh, you all, as you, as you came in, I hope you received a worship guide and there was a card, a connection card. If you're a guest, if you take a, a moment to complete that information, you can drop it in the offering plate. Uh, that's all we ask of you, that you just register, that we get a chance to know more about you. Here's a testimony of one that's got so many years ahead of her to share about her love for Jesus and that she is following Jesus and the Lord and the Savior of her life. The tank I stand in has water, just like the water at your, your home, has no saving ability whatsoever. But this water allows us to demonstrate a picture, a picture of the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And death to ourselves as he's given us a brand new life. You pray for Riley this morning. heard your testimony this morning, and we were excited about that. Do you have family here today? Can you see them out there? They're right down there. All right, you got your own cheering section there. All right, Riley, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. And is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? 
Okay. All right. Wonderful. Well, based upon your testimony, your story that God has come into your life and saved you, and in obedience to his command, and we want to follow him to obey him in baptism, it's my honor and my privilege to baptize you as my little sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.